Today I'm here to show you my newest free creation, a Blender add-on that will save the world. It's called Quick Open, and here's how you use it. It quickly opens things is the idea. So, uh, in Blender, once you install it, and I'll put a link in the description. By the way, if you buy it soon uh, off of the link in the description, I'm going to give you like 25% off or something. We'll say that's uh, available for like three days or something like that. Uh, once you install Quick Open, so you can see that is right here, uh, what you're going to get is when you hit N and you go to the Quick Open menu, you are going to get the Quick Open add-on. Uh, what is it, you ask? Well, basically, it opens any program you want inside a Blender or right from the Blender UI. In fact, uh, you can open up as many programs as you want. And the cool thing about this is if you're always somebody who opens up Discord and Spotify and Chrome and DaVinci Resolve or whatever, every time they're using Blender uh, or you're using Blender, this is a way to just automate that. So uh, for example, let's start off super simple. I'm going to type in Notepad. Uh, it already knows what directory that is for Notepad. So when I hit Quick Open, opens Notepad. Easy as that. Um, we can also open up a custom path, right? So I can open this. I can say uh, open this image, quick open, and then it will open the image. Uh, like I said, you can open up multiple things. So I'm going to quick open, and now it opens both of them. A uh, cool thing about this is you don't need to like type this in every time, otherwise what's the point? It's going to save this even after you close Blender. So you have like a, um, a quick way to quick open. In fact, uh, you can also type in quick open in the search menu, and it will use the settings there. Uh, by the way, the way it works in the background is in the add-on settings. Uh, you can see it's setting global parameters for these paths. So if I remove one, uh, it will take a second to update, but it's going to remove it here. Um, and this is what is going to carry information between uh, blend files. Okay, cool. Let's uh, take this up a couple notches. Let's say I want to open like Audacity or something like that. Uh, something that I do not know the file path for. So I'm going to go to the Audacity shortcut or exe, whatever. Click copy as path or however uh, the equivalent is on Mac. You paste that in. It's just going to work natively. Uh, let's also open up Notepad. Let's say you're also somebody who uses Microsoft Edge for some reason. You're an Edge head, as we call them. Uh, let's type in copy as path. Microsoft Edge, and then just for good measure, I legitimately do use DaVinci Resolve, um, you know, when I'm using Blender. So I'm going to copy his path. By the way, if any of these programs, I don't have it, but if you have any of them as run as administrator, uh, make sure you also run Blender as administrator. So you can see everything is updated. Let's quick open. And you can see a lot of stuff just opened, right? Uh, we have our Audacity, our DaVinci Resolve, which is opening, our Microsoft Edge. Let's close that, and then also Notepad. But again, uh, the useful thing about this is now, if you uh, exit out of here, uh, make sure you have Auto Save Preferences enabled, which will save these preferences. If not, you can save it manually. Cool thing about this, notice I didn't even save the Blender file, because it's not necessary. It will have all these settings here. I quick open again. And now it's going to do the same thing. Now, I don't live in a world <laughs> where I would open Audacity and stuff like that when I'm using Blender. In fact, I would avoid it. But uh, there you go. If people have features they want, let me know. Again, link in the description uh, will get you, let's say, 25% off for three days or something like that. Then I'm going to up the price or remove the discount. So if this is something that interests you, check it out.